I was out running some errands and getting stuff for my dog and stuff for some more doll projects and general grocery shopping. And I was just thinking, hmm, maybe next week my doll will come in. No, I walked up to the door when I got home and here's my box. Yeah, yeah. Denver doll sent it so quickly. I don't remember when I ordered it. I mean, it must have been like, I swear, like two days ago, maybe three days ago. Um, late at night, had an idea, been thinking about it for a while. And I was like, oh, you know, let me see what's on Denver doll. And I was like, oh, they have what? And what? So, won't tell you what it is, but all I can say, it was a doll that they already had in stock. And I was excited because I'd been looking into, uh-huh, doll leaves. And they had a doll that when I was first getting my first, very first resin BJD, um, there was a sculpt that I really, really wanted, but then I ended up not getting because it was the wrong resin color. I wanted it in a tan. Wow, 25 years. So, ooh. so currently all of my resin dolls, resin BJD dolls are resin sold. I haven't actually owned another doll company. I played with some other dolls. Currently fostering my sister's doll, which is a, can't think of the name right now. But I've been wanting to get another doll that wasn't particularly resin soul or Bobobi. Um, so pretty. Okay. Of course, the little pillows. And ta da 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 da. -da. Can you see her little face? So I heard that this particular tan resin looks a little bit, or Larry's doll leaves look a little bit orange. Um, I like it. I like it. It does have a bit of an orange tint. They talk about a lot of the marbling and you can see a lot of the sand lines in this one. So, well, I guess I'll look at this first. Let's see. Certificate of for the, oh, certificate for the special one. So let's see, certificate for the special one. Uh -huh. There she is. Uh -huh. So this is a doll leaves. Um, I do believe it's the um, dream body. And it is the Ida, the Ida head. I wanted the Ida because of her features and her ears. See these little ears? Let's make sure all her little limbs and parts are okay. wrapped pretty well. So let's move her lovely box over there. And uh, let's check her out a little bit more. So you know I never even thought about her coming with eyes. But she does have eyes. So well it this way. I'd 
call this color butterscotch. It makes me think of like butterscotch, like a butterscotch pudding sort of cup. Kind of makes me want to have one right now. I am hungry. I'll eat after this. But yeah, it's very much butterscotch. Um, or I'll think of some other colors. So I was originally wanting to get her. She was at, when I was living in Denver, there was a Denver doll emporium. Um, they had her, I do believe that she had a face up and she was in white skin, this particular sculpt. And um, I really wanted her for my character, Holly. But I was thinking, oh, but she's the wrong color. Back then, um, I didn't know about it. I could have gotten her in white skin. I could have just dyed her or painted her a different color, doing like some like color her, her resin to look like I wanted it to, especially since she was white skin. Um, I could have experimented with that. But I didn't, so yeah. So I ended up getting, let me get my other doll. Now, I don't know if I'm going to reshell my character Holly into this doll or not. Because I really, really like my Holly in my Resin Soul with the uh, Resin Soul May head. Um, I like how much bigger her ears are. Like, if I could, I don't know, uh, fuse these two together, that'd be great. See, her resin is their tan, their light tan. Um, and it's very much a khaki, like khaki color of pants, khaki pants. Compared to their, their tan. See that? Very different. I like how warm this one is. Um... She looks very alien to me, so she might end up being another little alien. I don't know. I could always epoxy, make her ears bigger. I like Holly's ears. I love Holly's sweet face. This is her third face up. I could do a different face up. But let's take a look at them. I have to move my camera. Uh, the thing that always was really sold me. I was looking more into this particular body and um, I really liked the joints. So I haven't played with them yet, but I like the posability of this particular body from what I've seen. So let's move the camera. And sorry, but this is gonna happen. Okay, let me change the legs. Wow, she's so much taller. And I did think about, okay, well, I always did like this Ida sculpt, so I could get the body, I could color match it, uh, my Holly head or May's head to match it, and then just keep her on this body so she can still be May, just on a different body, just um, Frankenstein her or um, hybrid her. Oh, this still isn't working. Me. So I was thinking like hybriding her, but I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can set my camera on something else. Gosh, this is annoying. Okay. I think I have an idea. Hold on. Just don't fall, because falling's not cool. Okay. I might still fall. I don't know. Alright, so there they are. And you're not falling, right? No? Ooh, okay, so we have space to look. So, like Holly Pants, don't like the wrist joint hairs. Never liked it. Probably my least favorite. I actually like the posability for a single jointed doll. I uh, like how she can touch her face. Um, I really like her face. I still want to get the May sleeping head. Um, I like, you know, these joints here, back, side to side. Probably at the wrist ranger. Um, yeah, probably. But, yeah. So different sides. Um, 
I mean, I still, I still like how alien her eyes are. Her, uh, how her eyes are set. It still looks very. I mean, not like she looks very human either, but very. I don't know. I like both of their faces. I went with her because she was closer to the color I was looking to get when I first purchased my dolls. I bought her an Artemis. Uh, Artemis is a resin soul on in this piece size and he was in white skin uh, for my characters or their character inspiration from Artemis Fowl. I don't know if you read the books but they were pretty good. Well I enjoyed them. I've read them several times and they make me laugh every time. So without further ado let's sit Holly down and let's look closer at the dollies Ida on the is this the James Bond? No. Look at this. This isn't the James Bond, is it? Hold on. I have to re-reference which body this is because it doesn't have a little joint here. Either way, I like this body. It was kind of a purchase on a whim, but I was thinking about doing something and then I just like think about it. And then, okay, it's almost, I don't know, 12 o'clock at night and then I was just like, okay, I'll Denver doll. Just get it. Just get it. Just do it. So I did it. It just makes me want some butterscotch. It really is butterscotch. Okay, so let's start from the head. I'm gonna put the head cap on first. Okay. Hmm. All nice and neat. Okay, already I like that a lot better than my maze mirror, which wasn't too much of a problem, but there were always issues with looking up, looking down, side to side. Um, there always be some mods to change that. I don't mind that, but I like that though. Just down, up, side, side. Um, arms, just go straight up uh, in between, not so much like that, but it's always persuaded. Um, so yeah. Let's see, elbow joints. It's all good and lovely. The joint here, it actually reminds me minus this joint here of my double jointed uh, body, my first one I got, which I got for my birthday this year, the Resin Soul Me in gray skin off of Resin Soul Love Facebook group. There was a person selling her on there. Awesome doll. Love her joints, love her body makeup. So that's what also pushed me towards thinking about Rebodying, at least rebodying these two. Um, let's see about her wrist. I heard in Swan's video that the wrist can be, um, yeah, actually, she currently has a doll in this body, come to think of it. Um, they'd have more mobility, but let's see. Yep, they have that long, long S hook. I was actually going to go and buy some smaller S hooks for my other dolls, my ABS plastic little dolls, but I might add a few more to the cart for her. So get a closer look at this long S hook. Do you see that? It's a long S hook. So she, she was saying um, if you get a smaller one <laughs> or could experiment with uh, it out and see how well it works with a smaller S hook just to see how well the mobility is. Okay. So it'll be the same thing for the other hand. Um, cute little hands, you know, see? Lovely. So next, torso. Let's take a look at this torso here. 
so let's see. I heard some things about, nope, yep, this is a different body. They have an itty bitty little lip there, but it's not really to hold this. You could do something else. So going back isn't so much of an option. Um, you could do some suede or something to change that. Forward, slouching. Looks kind of sad there, but yeah. <laughs> cool. Side to side. Yeah. It's all right. She does look on tight. Ow. All right. So now these were what really just said, just buy that off. This, this wonderful choice for that. So it's not so much a scroll joint, of course we could use it as such, but if I remember right, yep, there is a notch right here, a little notch that you can use to do such things as, oops, hold on. See if I can make it even do it. It's a very small notch though, but yeah. The legs up like that, like so. Let's see if I can just get both of her legs doing doing that. She's pretty tight. Definitely compared to Lucy Goosey Holly over here. But such a pose as this can be achieved. Do you, do you see that? I'm just hoping her joints won't snap back automatically. No. Still, that'd be nice. I want a doll that's very poseable because for photography purposes and modeling some of the uh, doll clothes that I make. So I'm going to have to play around and put some of the clothes I've already made on her. See this knee joint here? It's nice. So I like that. And then, of course, you can make your sit, because of the way that the knees go, so you don't have to pull them out. You can make your sit like so, automatically. There's no worrying about that. All good and lovely, or that's cool. And lastly, her little ankles. Let's see, it's probably one of those long, yep, long S hooks on your ankle. Um, in, out, down, up. Seems like they have a little more mobility than the wrist as far as being able to go back. Yeah, because the S hook just pulls it back in. And then, so we'll have to work on that. I'm not saying Holly was ever really, really great about that. Improvements can still be made. I wouldn't mind doing more things, modding this body. I thought about selling it, but I think I don't want to sell it. I mean, she's always been Holly to me. Modding it, I'm not afraid to do. But yeah. This is her. It is the doll leaves Ida on the, I'll put it in the description, body. I can't remember the body. Or maybe I can look it up right now. Hold on. The video is already 20 minutes long. <sighs> What's five more? Hold on. I'm going to go on to my tablet real quick. Okay, let's see. Come on. Oh good, I'm already on the Raven Frozen Soul. Not the Raven Soul, the Denver Doll website. Uh, let's go. Doll leaves, doll leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is Teenage Dream. Let's see. Is it on the teenage dream body? I guess it is. 
right? Teenage Dream, and it is the same body here. Yeah. Why was I thinking it was... I don't know. Either way, I knew either body would be fine. So, let's see if I can make this slightly better. I don't know if you can see screen to screen, but this is the Teenage Dream body. And it's always hard to see. But yeah, Denver Doll, go on and check it out. It's a Teenage Dream body that I just showed you here. Denver Doll. Just look at this. So pretty. But yeah, that's it. This body is the Teenage Dream. It's the new 45 centimeter Dream Girl body. Um, if you want just the body, um, no head, it's $128 on Denver Doll. Um, it's the DSB 45G 03 bust. Yeah. And they have different skin colors. They have white and normal. That's what they're offering. But this one in particular is the Doll Leaves Aspen Tan. Their Aspen Tan collection. And Ida was in stock, but she's not anymore because I purchased her. But yeah, they have a couple other ones available for shipping right away, shipping right out. You can either get them um, with a face up or no face up. I obviously got her without a face up. I don't want to pay for a face up. I'm just going to take off. Um, and I know I'm going to be changing it, but that's the face. So let me show you real quick. Let me go back. Originally, they had in stock, they had Ida. Like, that's what, just what did it. I got onto the website and then I clicked on it and I saw the, those ones and I was going scrolling through the faces and I saw Ida's face. And I still had that tug, that feeling, oh, I want that doll. So they had her in stock with this face up. Look just like this. Beautiful. So cute. Kind of melancholy, I guess, is what I would say. See those little ears? But they're so small and compared to um, the Resin Soul Mayhead. But I really liked it. And it was a double jointed body. And it was similar in price. Close enough, you know? So, but I just couldn't bring myself. It was in this, this skin color. I think it was this one, or it was actually white white skin but now we have miss butterscotch over there maybe that'll be her name butterscotch sounds cute she's very cute all right one more thing in comparing joints and all that other stuff what i was saying was this is my me she's currently undergoing uh stuff that's happening to her but anyways so then she's got a jointed hand on don't mind her weird fingers but here is her 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 joints so looking at her joints, she looks very alien too. <laughs> oh, the rest of her body's covered up. But just looking at those joints sort of reminds me of these peanut joints and um, how they look in the back here on her elbow. And then how they look back here, their little elbow. Anyways, really, really like her. Can't say I'll make May be her. I don't know. I just don't know. But I will do an experiment here in just a second with this this here because this actually does bother me. It's the only thing I have a problem with and then slouching back. So that would be only two things that I feel like I'd need to modify on her. Oh look, she went back. Okay, good. Wow, how did she do that? She didn't do it before. Or maybe not. Maybe there's only one joint to have a problem with. Her wrist. She's sitting back now. Gosh. Okay. Well... Mm, well, she was. Hold on, let's see if we can achieve it again. Yeah, you just gotta do it a certain way. Okay, well, that's good enough, because I wouldn't want her to go back further than that. She'd break her back. Okay, so, yeah. Thank you for watching, and yeah. Bye.